What's up, fellow uh, pilots? Um, just coming with a uh, quick video, a little 101, I call them just uh, basics for beginners and even uh, old timers like me who have been flying for over 25 plus years. Um, I don't fly a lot of planes with retracts. I never really have either, either uh, you know, static gear down or belly landers or whatever. I used to fly, you know, nothing but nitros, so. You know, most of the time my gear was always down. Um, and when I started playing around, you know, and getting the little kits with these uh, serverless uh, retracks here. Just your basic, you know, cheapos. Not too expensive at all. Um, I was getting them and, you know, the wires or the strut through here usually isn't the strongest. You come in, you know... Maybe a little crosswind landing, have to land with your rudder, have a little bit of crabbing going on, and you hit down and you end up bending them, bending them, bending them until they just pretty much won't fit up where they should underneath the wing, especially like a warbler like uh, my P-47. Um, has a little bit larger ones on it, but, uh, you know, same principle. Um, and forever, I was always trying to figure out how you get the strut out of the serverless retract. Now, for probably 99% of you out there, you're going, duh, and you already know how to do this. But uh, I was trying to find it on YouTube, and it was hard to find. So uh, I thought I'd just make a quick video for it. Um, because basically, I can, I've can i got a bag of them over here. A bag of serverless retracks. Most, most of them brand new, haven't even been in a plane yet. So I figured, you know, I'd want to use them, but... Uh, couple of the kits. I've got a wall of kits that have been sitting there pretty much since uh, we had our daughter. I haven't done a lot of flying in the last couple of years. So I'm getting back into it, playing around. Um, and I was just trying to figure out, you know, how you get that strut out. And it was so simple that uh, you can uh, call me an idiot in the comments. Feel free <laughs> um, to do this. Um, if anybody doesn't know and they want to get this strut out and say use the serverless retract for another plane, which obviously may have another angled strut, uh, you know, you know, different angle of any type or may angle off into the side, um, real easy to get out. I never knew this until just here recently and I played around with them, you know, trying to get them out and everything and I thought they were just kind of when you ordered a plane and it came with the retracts, I figured the strut was kind of, you know, the metal would uh, mushroomed at the end and it was just kind of in there for good. And when they're done, they're done. That's why they're about nine bucks a pop uh, for the cheapos. But uh, finally figured it out. So I'm just going to share it with you guys that don't know. Most of you guys probably do know. So uh, basically it uh, takes an Allen wrench uh, metric on most of them. Um, uh, 1.5. Allen wrench right there metric um, I do have a few though that take a standard Allen wrench um, I forgot the size of that one I'd have to look it up um, but basically underneath here and uh, get a little bit better you'll see those brass kind of collects on each side right in there and all it is get the proper Allen wrench Put it in there, crack that thing loose, back out the Allen wrench, and you'll start to see, there it is, the little grub screw came out right there. And you don't have to take it all the way out, that one just kind of came out. Go on the other side, loosen that one up, and I've already kind of pre-loosened these, so I wouldn't have to back them all the way out. Um, and then that's pretty much it. After that, gear slides out really well. And you can see the notch in there for the uh, grub screw to grab onto on both sides to lock those in to make sure they don't rotate in any way while it's in there. So that's all there is to it. And then get your new landing gear. And, you know, a lot of these are pretty much universal. They fit so many different applications or if you're you know, doing a mod where you're adding one to a plane that doesn't have one, you know, you're good to go. So, uh, once you get that out, 
they're good to go. You put your new one in right there on your opening there. And the openings are different sizes, so kind of, you know, if you're looking to buy a set or something like that, definitely check the uh, diameter of the hole and the diameter of the uh, gear struts that you're wanting to put in. But that is all there is to it. Put your new one in there. Tighten up the grub, grub screw on uh, each side. Tighten it up good and stiff. Um, I haven't found really any reason to need to put Loctite in there. They seem to tighten up pretty well. So uh, that's about it. So this is just a little 101 video that uh, after well into 20, almost 30 years of flying, I'm just figuring out. But, uh, you know, like I said, I don't use retracts a lot, but I'm getting ready to build a new uh, large scale P47. It'll be using a lot larger than these. But I kind of didn't need to know how to, you know, do something like that. And I uh, was having a hard time finding it. doesn't seem to be just covered. So I, it's either common knowledge or people just kind of chuck these and get the ones that will work better for them. So uh, that's pretty much it. And I'm probably, uh, while I'm doing my builds and stuff, I'll cover some of my builds. But also I'll go over just some basic stuff for either the new guys getting into the hobby of uh, flying planes. Uh... EDFs, you know, whatever. I'm not big into quads. I do fly helis too. But, uh, yeah, just get into some basic stuff that you might not ever think of. And I've thrown away sets of these and didn't even think about that. So, uh, hope this helps at least one person and everybody else can kind of laugh and say, yeah. <laughs> All right. Happy flying.